this is Vatsala here from Bonito Designs. I'm here to explain you about the recently handed over three bedroom flat to Mr. and Mrs. Hangal. The speciality about this house is guys, we have converted this two bedroom, two flats into one spacious three bedroom flat. And this flat is located in Provident Velvet City, which is in the highway of the Dbalapur. Let us see more about this house. There is one thing if you notice in this entire house, there is a symmetry right from the foyer to the living and to the dining guys. The symmetry is just not followed in the furniture layout but it is followed right from the lighting to the furniture layout and also to the drapes. Mrs. Sunita was very particular about one painting which she had bought in Mysore and she had a very strong sentimental attachment towards painting which had a tint of blue color in it. So we were forced to design the entire living room and the dining room around the white and blue theme. The challenge in designing a TV unit for this house was because we combined a two bedroom flat into a three bedroom flat. We were really skeptical about how the furniture layout might turn out. And when we were planning the designing of the kitchen, all we figured out the cozy corner is the best place to have the TV on it. And in the entire house, we have made sure that we have used one single laminate that is brown color laminate because we were playing with the combination of white furniture across. On top of the TV unit, we have made sure that we have bought in artifacts across the world and it is beautifully decorated by using porcelain plates. Every corner of this house has been designed by keeping Vasto in mind, right from the foyer to the puja unit to the kitchen and to the crockery unit. When we were designing this two bedroom flat and turning it into a three bedroom spacious flat, we were, you know, uh, finding it very difficult where the puja unit should go. And the client was also very particular about she wanted everything according to the Vastu. So in planning, we had spent a lot of time, but finally it has turned out really good. The way we have designed this bar unit, guys, is we wanted to cover the other entrance of the two bedroom flat and we have planned it so well that, you know, you will not be able to feel that there was one more entrance to this house. And the cozy corner is so beautifully designed with all type of glasses and the champagne bottles. You know, it, it is looking complete. The corner is right from the crockery unit to the living to the dining and to the bar unit. Most of our beloved customers and YouTube followers were really waiting for us to explain more about kitchen. I think today I'm going to take that opportunity to, to explain about the kitchen more in detail. The challenge in designing this particular kitchen was guys because it had a very small width of 5 feet in length and around 8 feet in length and it was a parallel kitchen. And I would like to explain more about how we have planned the storage so well. Next to the fridge we had a cozy corner which we have used it very wisely by giving two little small narrow tall cabinets wherein most of the items right from the dal to pulses cereals everything can come and accommodate here and since it was it was an open kitchen extending to the dining and also the living area i wanted to give a little extension for the kitchen so we have planned the slits of partition which is having again the same color laminate i do not wanted it to look very plain and hence we have used this props with the cylindrical pots and every cabinet if you see here right from the tandem we have used and made sure that most of the accessories is planned well and we have given this small little ledge at the bottom of the top cabinets so that most of the cereals pulses and masala items can be easily accessible while cooking and at the same time we have given spotlight to the top cabinet so that the items are lit i really wanted to add life to this particular kitchen and wanted to make sure that you know Sunita is not disappointed by getting her artifacts even to the kitchen and we made sure that we are giving providing like 3-4 glass shelves on which these porcelain cups are beautifully placed. That's it about this overall kitchen guys. We are now in the master bedroom guys. In the master bedroom if you look around we have used a CNC cutting on top of the metal and it is beautifully lit by using a backlit. 
Coming to the dressing unit guys, we have the amount of storage towards the left hand side so that they can you know, store all their nail polishes, perfumes, everything in a different rack. At the same time, the speciality about this particular area is we have provided the mirror in the ceiling which is beautifully lit by the chandelier. And towards my right hand side, you can see a mirror which is having a focus light on the top. The speciality about this particular wardrobe is we have made sure that we have used the same CNC cutting which we have used on either side of the cot on the wardrobe shutter also. Let me show you what we have done in detail in the carcass of the wardrobe. The speciality about this internals of the wardrobe is we have made sure that a special tray has been provided so that you know you need not have to go deep in and put your hands to access all of the items so that you can just pull this drawer out and you can access all the items very easily here. At the same time even for a pan pull out we have provided a channel and for every bit of the storage we have made sure that the drawer is provided so that you can just take the things with easily you not have to bend or go down or anything. And similarly, the same pattern has been continued on the other side. I'm in Sanjana's bedroom right now and Sanjana from the beginning, she was very particular about she wanted a vintage theme around because she was living in Europe for more than six years and she wanted to bring in that trend to here. And the way we have chosen the handle for this cabinets and also the way we have designed this wardrobe is not with the olden days typical storage types. We have made sure that we have used glass shelves in between and also the seater space is provided. This is a guest bedroom guys and also we have turned this bedroom into a library. If you can see around there is ample amount of open shelves which is provided where there is space for the book racks and at the same time we have maintained a storage space also by providing two openable wardrobe. That's it about this bedroom. I'm here with Sanjana guys. Sanjana is sweet little daughter of Sunita. Let's hear more from Sanjana about their little home. So how was the overall experience you know of getting the house done by Bonito Designs? Yeah first of all uh, I'm speaking on behalf of my parents mom and dad. Uh, they had two different houses and uh, they always thought about how to convert this into a three bedroom house and then we approached Bonito Designs because Vatsala is a really good friend of mine <laughs> and uh, as soon as they entered Bonito and until the end, till the delivery point, everything went so smooth like it doesn't feel like a two different apartment combined together anymore so they've done a brilliant job and we're very happy about it and what is your favorite place in this house? I think the living area including the dining area and the bar uh, Mrs. Sunita was very particular about the artifacts she bought from different parts of the country and you know uh, I would like to hear more uh, on her mm -hmm. behalf from you. I would uh, actually blame Bonito Designs for my mom's fetish for all the art, uh, artifacts. As soon as the design of the house was complete my mom uh, visited me in Europe and we went traveling and she had everything so clear in her mind that mm. tells us so much about how clear the communication between yeah. Bonito and my parents have been. Okay that's, yeah. that's one thing you know uh, mm. because in Sunita's side she was very particular about which artifact should go to which place and there is no negotiation about it. I'm sure she was a very demanding customer. <laughs> So out of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, where would you rate Bonito at? Uh, coming from my parents, I think it would be definitely 9 out okay. of 10. <laughs> the punctuality, mm -hmm. that is what my parents mention a lot. Mm -hmm. All the deadlines were met without problems mm -hmm. uh, and whatever quality was uh, promised was assured and was delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, the workers were really uh, good uh, with their social skills, they could speak. Uh, although my mom's Hindi wasn't so uh, good, <laughs> she could still converse with the carpenters because they were really friendly yeah. and patient with all the demands that my mom had. Yeah, that's the overall feedback. Thanks a lot, Sanjana. Yes. So that was all about this house, guys. For more videos of Bonito Designs, please log on to our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe right today because every Friday we come up with a brand new video. Until then, see you. Bye-bye.